Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button so you're not missing any of these reactions, any of my vlogs about my mental health journey, or any of my celebrity interviews about their mental health journeys. Today's reaction is a request from my amazing supporter, David Parker. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. I'm very excited to be doing this reaction for you. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon, make sure to do so. Link is in the description. I've just added amazing new benefits. So not only do you get priority song requests, you get to jump on monthly live streams with me, multiple actually, you get personalized pictures, behind the scenes pictures, and video, and now I'm also releasing exclusive reactions on Patreon, and my Patreons get a sneak peek of the reactions I'm going to be doing for the month. So make sure to check that out, link in the description, and every single dime goes toward my mental health outreach. Today I'm going to be reacting to Acid Rain by Lauren. And... I don't know anything about Lorne, uh, if it's a band or a group or a person or what it is, uh, what genre it is, I don't know, but I was thinking about the term acid rain before I jumped on here, and for me rain represents impishness and a childlike nature and joy, and I'm always very happy when it rains, but I remember that there were several points in my life, uh, when my mom passed away, for example, or other times when I was going through grief, when rain was more mournful and it had a much more desolate feeling to it. The gray clouds turned darker as opposed to before. It was just, it, it was a calming feeling. So I think that acid rain has to do with a point of pain or point of mourning. So let's see if I'm rain. Let's see if I'm rain. <laughs> let's see if I'm right. Acid rain by Lauren. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think these girls died in some kind of an accident. And the reason I say that is not only the cuts and bruises on her. At first I was going, who has that kind of reaction after they get in a car accident? But the, the bruising and scarring on her, the fresh blood there, but also the Native American statue in the background. And I know that's kind of a random thing to pick up on, but the symbology is not lost on me. Uh, my dad was very into Native American beliefs, and I grew up learning a lot about Native American culture, which I'm very grateful for because I love learning about different cultures. But in Native American traditions, they, they believe that your soul gets a final dance before crossing over. So that makes a lot more sense as to why she would come out of the car like that. And it started off very slow. Her movement started very slow, almost questioning, and then picked up the pace and turned into this very interesting dance. And I think that there is something symbolic about that, you know, because when we face death, it's a very slow to accept thing. We resist our own death, and other people, when somebody passes away, we're very slow to get to the point of acceptance. We have to go through the other stages of grief, and we're very slow to get to the point of acceptance. So I think that was the slow movement. So let's see again if I'm right here.
I was right. They did all die in the end. That's That was very quick, but still quite powerful and a very interesting interpretation. I think it was an interpretation. My initial assumption, I believe, was right that it was an interpretation about death. I think that the youthful aura of it, the cheerleading costumes, the diner, um, the youthful aura is, is really is really telling because, you know, to me, like I said before, it, it's a very slow process to accept death. But once we get there, we feel like we're growing, you know, so progressively it goes uh, through these these stages, this um, growth. I think that was uh, very powerful. I think it's interesting because the melody has a listless feel to it. The, the melody, the ambiance has this very listless feel, but the lyrics are actually super uplifting where it's talking about hang tight, you know, and it's trying to encourage you to getting to the point of acceptance. So I thought that was uh, very interesting. Where it's talking about the bad dreams versus the cool world. I thought that was a really interesting juxtaposition because there's the bad dreams, which represents a dark mind, uh, a restless mind, but then it's talking about this cool world, which is kind of a neutral term uh, to me. Cool, it isn't cold, it isn't hot, it's just this neutral term. Uh, and focusing, what, it, what it's trying to say is to focus on the light within, focus on shining that light within instead of focusing on the cruel world. Uh, avoid or ignore the external cruel uh, things and and world that's there. So I, yeah, I thought that was really interesting, but yeah, I, I stand by my initial, uh, my initial interpretation of acid rain. I still think that it's mournful. It's kind of crazy that I, that I just guessed that, but um, to me, rain is always joyful. So if I'm thinking of acid rain, I'm thinking of painful, going through something painful. Uh, that last girl, well, actually the friends in general, I, th I think it's them kind of guiding one another because it's one that goes to the next, that goes to the next. And I think it's one guiding the next and saying, it's okay, let's let's go, let's cross over. Uh, but the way that last girl, number one, that was a little unsettling the way she just appears like that. But when she, she beckons, um, us, the, the viewer, she's beckoning us to move with them toward that point of acceptance. And I think the girl in the end was accepting and she was alone at that point. She'd accepted her own death and she was crossing over. Um, I kind of like the shambling quality of the video. I just think that it gave it kind of that, that feel, a uh, very dark feel uh, that we would see in a lot of horror thriller movies. So that was a nice touch. But I, th I think this was great. Everything about this video it wasn't complicated, the video wasn't complicated, the lyrics weren't complicated, the music wasn't complicated, but wow, what a impactful theme to a video. Um, and I think that grief is something that most of us can relate to. And I know that for me, having anxiety, the idea of death is something that I struggle to come to terms with, to come to terms with the fact that everyone, uh, everyone is going to die or we're going to lose everyone in some way, shape, or form at some point. That's a very hard truth to accept. And that's all the more reason, uh, like I was saying, to find that light inside. Because the only death we really have to come to terms with is our own. Everyone else, it hurts and it's a grief process to get through. But the only death that really, at the end of the day, um, needs to be addressed is our own. And I think that I'm not there. <laughs> but I think once you can get to that point of enlightenment, of being okay with your own death, you can kind of transcend a lot of anxiety and depression. And that's something I've been working on. And there are a lot of studies that say that spending time meditating or reflecting on our mortality can actually bring us more peace in the end. And like I said, still working on that. But um, grief is still something that we are all confronted with and learning to to navigate through it is a very important part of the human experience. So thank you again, David, for uh, recommending me this song. I I think it was amazing. I, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know what kind of music I could expect from uh, Lorne, if, if this is their their genre, their beat, their message, or if they have different uh, songs. So I, I will probably check out more of them, but thank you so much. and. 
As always, guys, share your story in the comments, good, bad, and crazy. That's how we shatter the mental health stigma is just by talking about it. Make sure you give this video, video a big thumbs up, share it. You never know who might need to hear it. And I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. I love you. Mwah. Thank you.